Welcome back to the channel guys. Jeff here at Titan FPV. I've got another how-to video today. I've got this uh, HDLRC Sector 5. It's a 4S quad and I got a 6S pack. We're going to see if we can run this and not burn the motors up. So these are the they're branded HDLR Tech forward motors. Uh, they're 2306 2450 KV, so that's a 4S KV. Generally run them on a 4S. Um, and you know, 2450 is going to be really high for success. So, this flight controller, uh, I believe it's the Zeus F, F7 flight controller, I believe this is a 60 amp ESC. It's also capable of success. Uh, I mean, their VTX is capable of 6S as well. So everything on the quad is capable of 6S uh, pretty much, uh, but the motor. So that's what we're going to see um, if we can get this to run. We're going to set a motor output limit in beta flight and see if we can run this puppy on 6S. All right, guys, first things first, we're going to figure out what KV that we're going to need to run uh, for 6S, so we're going to pick a 6S capable KV. Um, I've got another quad that's a 1600 KV uh, for 6S, but um, you know, I want to run something a little bit higher, maybe something like a 1700, 1750, 1800 KV, uh, get a little more pop on 6S. So um, you're going to take that number and you're going to divide it by the current KV. Right, so if I want 1750, and then I'm going to uh, divide that by 2450, which is the current KV, and you multiply that by 100 to get the percentage. So whatever percentage that is, it's gonna be unique um, for your quad, depending on how you wanna set it up. You're gonna take that number, and we're gonna to wanna to go ahead and set that aside, because that's the number we're gonna to use to set up uh, in beta flight. We got uh, just a couple things we got to do before we jump into CLI, do some command line. We're going to jump into the pit tuning tab. You want to see, uh, make sure select profile number one, make sure all your pits are set correctly. I mean, I'm just using the stock pits on the sector, so no adjustments are needed. I'm going to copy these profile values over to profile two. And I'm also going to copy them over to profile three. All right, and then we're going to hit save so that assures that the same values are set up on all three profiles. Have to disconnect and then reconnect to get into CLI for some version of this configurator. All right, let's jump into CLI. All right, we're going to select our profile here, guys. The thing about profiles is you're just going to subtract one from the profile, and that's going to be the actual profile. So if we're doing profile one, it's actually profile zero. Type in profile zero. That's got profile one selected. We're going to set the auto profile cell count to four. We're going to jump into profile one, which is actually profile two. We're going to set the auto profile cell count to six. This is going to be where the motor output limit is going to come into play. We're 
to set the uh, motor output limit to whatever number. This is the number that you uh, set aside that you calculated earlier. In this case, mine's going to be 75. So we be running 75% of the KV on the 4S motors on 6S. And we're going to go to profile 2, which is actually profile 3. And this is just in case you plug in like a 3 cell or another cell count battery, uh, just to keep you covered. So we're going to set the auto profile limit to minus 1. So it's going to just deduct whatever 1 uh, is from your cell count just to keep us covered there. It's going to hit save and it's going to reboot the quad. Now we're going to check to make sure that everything's working correctly. And there's an easy way to do this, guys. You're going to go ahead and go back into the PID tuning tab. And you see we're on profile number three, right? So we're going to take our four cell that we have set to PID profile, or I'm sorry, yeah, PID profile one. We're going to plug our four cell in. And you see it automatically jumps to profile number one. That's what we want. All right, now let's try it with a six cell. Six S. Plug the six S in. You see we're on profile one. Watch, guys, it's magic. Bam, jumps to profile two. I don't have a three cell. We can test that otherwise, but. Looks like everything is working correctly. One more thing I failed to mention, guys. We got to update something in the uh, battery tab. And basically, we're just going to have to update the maximum voltage from, I think it might be set to default 4.3. We're going to set that to 4.4 so it recognizes the six cell properly. Let's go ahead and make that change. Hit save, uh, and we're good to go.
looks like the flight was successful. Um, check the motors uh, when it came down. Um, they were warm, but they weren't hot. Um, the windings, they appear all to be great. Um, got a little bit of prop wash there, but I think that's just due to these ethics props. It, it's got the default Betaflight 4.1.1 tune on it. So um, I hope this video was informative. Uh, if you're not already subscribed, please do so. That helps out the channel there. Post any comments or questions there below. I'll get back with you as soon as I can. And thanks again, guys. We'll catch you in the next one.